Welcome back to Poe Mr. Channel. In this video, we will demonstrate how to wire the Poe HVN 6.2N 48V and all-in-one solar inverter using our electric box C distribution box product for the entire demonstration. First, let's introduce the protective device needed for all wiring lights. The AC input light requires a 50 ampere AC circuit breaker and a 40 kilo ampere AC surge protector. The first AC output light requires a 32 ampere AC circuit breaker, while the second AC output light requires a 10 ampere AC circuit breaker. The PV input light requires a 25 ampere DC circuit breaker and a 40 kilo ampere DC surge protector. The battery light requires a 150 ampere DC circuit breaker. Once you have prepared this necessary device, mount inverter in a suitable location to begin wiring. For demonstration purposes, we use the temporary zip types to attach the inverter to a perforated mounting board. But for long term and safe operation, it's recommended to use dedicated expansion bolts. Next, remove the terminal cover and open the distribution box. Now let's officially start the wiring. First, we will connect the battery light. For thicker cables, it's recommended to remove the waterproof gland. Insert the cable through the gland cover and then insert it into the distribution box. Attach the wiring terminals to the appropriate polarity ports on the circuit breaker. Strictly distinguish between the positive and negative terminals. After securing terminals, tighten the waterproof ports. Then connect the battery circuit breaker to the inverter. Again, ensure proper polarity. Finally, connect the battery to the circuit breaker and tighten the waterproof port. Next is the connection of the PV lights. Connect the PV wires to the positive and negative terminals of the PV circuit breaker. Then connect the PV input ports of the inverter. The other end of the circuit breaker connects to the PV arrays via an MC4 connector. Then we connect the AC input lights. We use brown wire as the live wire and blue wire as the neutral wire. Connecting them to the L and N terminals of the AC input circuit breaker respectively and then to the AC input ports of the inverter. Next, connect the first AC output light circuit breaker to the inverter's port. Paying attention to distinguish between live and neutral wires. Repeat the same process for the second AC output light circuit breaker and inverter port. Connect the other end of the AC input circuit breaker to the mains power. Connect the loads to the first and second AC output lights. The first light can support a maximum loads of 6.2 kW, and the second lights can support a maximum loads of 2,066 W. When the battery voltage drops to 52 V, the first output will automatically shut off to ensure stable operation of the second output. It's recommended to connect the loads requiring uninterrupted power to the second output lights for stable and reliable operation. Next, ground the bus bar of the distribution box. Finally, ground the inverter separately. Do not forget to check the polarity and ensure all connections are secured and reliable. 
after verification, replace the terminal cover, close the battery light, and start inverter. Once the inverter starts normally, sequentially close the PV input, AC input, and AC output circuit breakers to start inverter in normal operation. That concludes the wiring tutorial for the PO HVM 6.2N 48 volt and all in one solar inverter with the electric box C distribution box. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.